a truly auspicious day today. And I take this opportunity to thank and welcome Madam President, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, for having graciously accepted to release the commemorative coin of my late father, Sri N.T. Ramarao Garu. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the National President of Bharti Janta Party, Sri Jagat Prakash Nadda Ji, who has graced this occasion and has been a source of strength for me all through my journey in Bharti Janta Party. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank each one of my family who's been here, whose presence has actually made this occasion a very memorable one, a one that cannot be forgotten in life. I also should be thanking God on this occasion for having given me an opportunity not once but twice to pay my respects to my late father, Sri Nandamuri Tarak Ramaravagaru. He lives in our hearts, but yet there was one occasion when we were able to install his statue in the parliament, which was a momentous moment for me. And again, today, when we are having the commemorative coin on his name released on his centenary year. I think this has been God sent opportunity to me and a blessing from my father as well. Today we have gathered here today to pay our respects to the life and legacy of late Sri Enti Rama Rao Garu on his centenary year. His contribution to the field of art has been commendable and so has been his impact on the landscape of Andhra Pradesh politics as well. To put it in another way, he not only impacted the political scenario in Andhra Pradesh, but has also impacted the political scenario in the entire country as well. And I very humbly would like to place this statement before the August audience seated here. His contribution to the field of entertainment, as I had mentioned earlier, is lives in the hearts of the people through his charisma and through his dedication as well. And he actually breathed life very effortlessly into very diverse characters, just as he is revered as Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, or Lord Shiva even to this day. He is also loved as Duryodhana and Ravana as well. And this could only be done by none other than late Sri Enti Ramarao Garu. After his foray into politics, it also brought forward another angle or another aspect which clearly emphasized how entertainment can actually impact society. And we cannot refrain from saying that it was his foray into entertainment, the field of entertainment, that had actually seen him breeze into the, uh, uh, the status of the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh as well. And after he forayed into political life, or rather public life, he proved that politics, or rather power, is simply not for power, but is also a medium of service to people. The manner in which he empowered the marginalized sections of society, more particularly the women, wherein he ushered in reservations for women, and beyond that he also gave equal properties, uh, equal right, rights and properties for women as well. Needless to say, setting up the first Mahila Vishwavidyalaya in Tirupati too. The support he gave the backward classes, and the manner in which he stood up for the scheduled classes and also his strong belief that unless he empowered the marginalized sections, cannot we take our state and our country forward. So though he started a political outfit, a regional political outfit, I must and I cannot refrain from saying that he was nationalistic in his outlook as well. And today, on his centenary year, 
the manner in which tributes are pouring in through the social media, I mean, setting up his statues or even releasing the commemorative coin today, only speaks of the fact that he is not a hero of individuals, but he is a hero for generations to come as well. And therefore, today is truly an emotional moment for me, an emotional day for me, wherein it has been made a dream come true, wherein we are releasing the commemorative coin of late Sri Enti Ramaravgaru. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to say that with Madam President, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, coming from humble backgrounds, rising to the highest status in the country through her hard work and her commitment, is very befitting that she releases the coin of one such man who again comes from humble backgrounds and who has grown to the highest uh, uh, position uh, in the state of Andhra Pradesh through his commitment, his dedication and his grit. Thank you all. Thank you, Madam Burundeshwagaru.